Well, hello there, everybody. Today I am back with an impromptu video on cozy reads, some comfort reading recommendations for you. This is an idea that Brie from Brie Reads Books had. I think a bunch of other people should have videos up on this as well. I'm a little bit late, <laughs> but I thought I would take a stab at making some recommendations for you guys. Things are really difficult right now, and I have to say that I myself am really struggling, especially up here mentally and emotionally with what's been going on right now. And I think I'll be taking some of my own suggestions in this video and doing some rereading. These are all books, all of them relatively short as well, that I have actually reread multiple times for just the joy and comfort of knowing that it is a pleasant story with nothing terrible that's going to happen and will give me the feels that I want at the end. So here we go. The first one is Wild Magic by Tamara Pierce. It's the first book in her Immortals Quartet and it is about a young woman who discovers she has wild magic and surrounds herself with a found family when she loses her own. She can communicate with animals and such. And there's just something so wonderful about this book, possibly because it's the first thing I ever read by Tamara Pierce, but also it's essentially a coming of age story that works so well. And it's about like good people doing good things and finding people who will support them. And that's probably going to be a bit of a theme with my recommendations here. My other top, top recommendation is actually pretty similar to Wild Magic, and that is the first two books in the Harper Hall trilogy by Anne McCaffrey. This is kind of the young adult trilogy within the Dragon Riders of Purin series, and the first two books are Dragon Song and Dragon Singer. I put them together into one recommendation because <laughs> it's really easy to go straight from one into the other. Dragon Singer is a direct sequel to Dragon Song. If you like the first, you'll probably like the second. And this is about a young woman named Menely who is very musically gifted. She ends up running away from home when her family will not support her and tries to destroy her dream of being a musician. And she is recognized for her talents and taken in by the Harper Hall. And once again, it's about her achieving her potential, finding people who see her talents and support her, and making friends. And this, the first two books in this trilogy have always been so emotionally satisfying for me. I think that Terry Pratchett is a great author to read in times like this. I could probably recommend any number of Discworld novels. You pretty much know what you're going to get with Terry Pratchett, and that is a great comfort. But my personal favorite out of all the Discworld novels, and the one that I have gone back to multiple times for that satisfaction, is Going Postal. This is part of, I think, the Industrial Revolution subseries of the Discworld series, and the first of a trilogy about a sort of con man named Moist von Litvig, who is forced by Vetinari, the patrician of Ankh-Morpork, to take on some of the infrastructure and systems within the city and build them up. And Going Postal is about him building or revitalizing the postal system. I love this. <laughs> I love it so much because it is about addressing a very specific problem, building a system, creating structure, and it's incredibly inspirational, I think, as well as being downright funny. And then I have two more recommendations that are novellas, so you have the satisfaction of reading something short and finishing it, but also these are really, really lovely stories. The first is Murderbot, and the first Murderbot novella is All Systems Red by Martha Wells. If you don't already have Murderbot in your life, what are you waiting for? This is about basically a socially anxious Murderbot sentient security unit robot. Um, and its journey to becoming essentially autonomous, a person discovering who it is and making friends and protecting people and such. It's so, so good. <laughs> and then if you want some fantasy, I would highly recommend the Penric and Desdemona novellas by Lois Master Bujold. The first one is Penric's Demon. I have the individual volumes, but you can also pick these up in like trilogy omnibuses from Bane now. 
Um, I think the first one is called Penrick's Progress. But anyway, these are wonderfully solid, slightly traditional fantasy stories about a man who becomes sort of possessed by a demon, which enables him to become a sorcerer. And he sets out to do good with his powers. He makes friends with this demon. They are a team. And yes, this absolutely fills my heart with joy because it's about people who are trying to do the right thing. Penrick and even Desdemona have this real sense of what is right and just and fair, and they try to truly help people. And that I think is something we need to read about right now. Those are my quick recommendations for some cozy comfort reading. Um, let me know if you have read any of these, what you thought about them. If you have any of your own recommendations for comfort reads, do leave a comment down below for other people. I think we could all use more recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, keep reading, and I will talk to you again soon. And until then, bye.